morning, grade 5, how are you? I hope that you are okay. Grade 5, our lesson today is writing. It's opinion writing, okay? So, our objective is to identify the elements of opinion writing in context, okay? But before we start, let's revise the side words as usual, okay? Let's start, please. And please repeat after me. Matter, 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 again, again, syllable, syllable, repeat again, again, perhaps, perhaps, again. Repeat again. Felt. Felt. Repeat, please. Again. Suddenly. Suddenly. Again. Yes, again. Direction Direction Repeat again Again Farmers Farmers Again Repeat again Ready Ready. Again. Repeat again. Divided. Divided. Again. Repeat again. Yes, again. Now grade 5, okay? If we say to you opinion writing, that means, okay, it's a persuasive, okay, it's persuasive writing. It's the same name. Because opinion writing means that you have a certain topic, you have a certain idea that you want to convince other people or to persuade them to take your opinion, okay? To be with you, to agree with you, okay? So you want to persuade them. That's why we can call it persuasive essay, okay? Just because you want to persuade others to be with you or they can be against you, okay? So, what's your experience with writing opinion writing or persuasive writing or essay if you have never written one have you ever tried to convince someone to act a certain way or do something have you tried of course of course because we are humans and sometimes we want to do something and want others to be in to be in our side to support us okay to take the same opinion of us okay so if so that means if you have never written one have you ever tried to convince someone to act a certain way or to do something if so what techniques did you use what kind of argument did you make okay that means if you want to tell some uh, a person or somebody uh, about something you want him to do that means it has become a matter of argument you want him to do what you want okay so it has become an argument it's okay so let's start with the steps so in persuasive writing a writer takes a position this is the writer or it can be you okay you can be for or against 
you can be with or against an issue and try it to convince the reader this if you are the writer if you are the writer okay a writer takes a position for he can be with or against an issue and tries to convince the reader to believe or do something now he has a certain point of view he has a certain opinion this is the point of view of the writer so he writes about his own topic and is trying to let me let you let everybody take the same opinion of him that's why he's trying to convince me convince you okay to be of the same opinion of his okay so where do we find opinion writing or persuasive writing it can be in more than one one source it can be in magazines it can be in newspapers uh, it can be in an advertisement for a certain product that they want you to buy that product for a certain company that's why they are trying to do their best to let you buy what they produce okay or it can be in a certain speech it can be political or uh, whatever it can be uh, on blogs in web pages uh, on the social media on Facebook uh, it can be in um, it can be advice okay so it has more than one form you can get opinion writing in more than one form okay in many many so it can be examples of persuasive writing it can be editorials it can be an essay you can get it as uh, an advertisement as I told you for a certain product or whatever it can be in a certain speech okay petition political cartoons uh, it can be in letters in blogs in tweets uh, in Facebook uh, to give advice okay so what are some topics that you make argue or debate over once we say argument sorry once we say opinion that means we are gonna to tackle or discuss a certain argument so this argument is our debate it's two opinions with or against for or against you are with or against okay so that's why we call it what argument or debate so examples we have many many examples of such argument or such opinions it can be a uh, school uniform uh, it can be uh, doing uh, too much homework it can be uh, at children getting mobile phones okay can be staying up late for little children it can be students should be required to go to school all year uh, it can be three uh, three semesters school uh, should be in two or three semesters many topics can be there okay so uh, now we have a certain example students should be required to go to school all year this is our topic it can be a topic and now we are gonna to discuss such a topic some people can be with this topic because it's for their benefit and the others say no never we can never be in the school for all year round it's too difficult for us so many can say it's okay especially uh, some people who are working all the time and they don't have time for their children okay others say no we can never study for for our children all the year round and it can be so difficult for them so like that there will be no time for activities for uh, enjoying themselves for having relax uh, relaxation after this long scholastic year so of course you will get one opinion that with that's with okay long school year and the other will say no never it can be it can never be like that okay so the united states troops this is another opinion uh, sorry this is another topic the United States troops should leave Iraq. Some people say yes, it is not our country. Why we should occupy another country? American troops should return back to America because they are American and America is their land. And it's the right of Iraq to be to get its freedom. 
okay and uh, each country has its own uh, its own freedom and nobody should occupy here okay uh, we can come to come up with at least five topics that have opposing views that interest you as I have told you it can be uh, as I told you uh, school uniform uh, long scholastic year it can be three uh, three semester of a school year uh, it can be children having uh, cellular uh, mobile phones many topics many many it's not only one okay so for opinion writing we should have the following we should have number one the claim okay so claim claim means what it's the declaration okay it's the request the something that we are going to speak about is the assertion so number one we have a certain case that we are going to speak about it that's why we call it claim so we start the persuasive writing or opinion writing by uh, defining or uh, writing about a certain claim we have a certain case we have a certain assertion okay or a certain uh, declaration that we are going to speak about then the second step that we should support our claim with evidence okay and the, so evidence supporting the claim so we are going to give reasons okay i have my own claim what are my reasons for that claim okay what time are reason for that case then okay this is my own opinion i have my own reasons so what about the other opinion it must be respected because not everybody will agree with me if i say school uniform is very important for the school as an organization and for the students to be equal and for students to respect their school and that uh, uh, no differentiation between the rich and the poor this is my own opinion but of course i will get another opinion who will say no i never agree with you okay many topics like that must get two opinions and as if i respect in my own opinion i should respect the other opinion i should never neglect okay because we are in life not only one side we can be two sides or many sides one with you another can be against you okay so we start by the claim okay this is my own opinion then i have to give you my own reasons okay then another person may oppose me then so this op this oppose will lead to what the argument so the argument or the debate will be of two sides one with or against okay then the conclusion so let's take them one by one so okay number one how can we make such a claim okay let's speak about a writer of short story of an essay uh, or article or whatever okay so a writer must express an opinion to turn a topic into a claim so he will start by the topic the next step okay is gonna to change his topic to be claim to be assertion or request or declaration or case for example if our topic is a school uh, school store time this is the topic a topic at the time of the school and when school starts so it's a school start time this is my topic okay that i'm gonna speak about now the next step i'm gonna to change it to be what to be claim because the claim is the at the point that will get two opinions with with and against then a possible claim should be say i started by what school start time this is the topic then I'm gonna to come to the next step that is the claim so the claim will be school should start later in the day so this is the, the debate this is the topic of the debate okay this is the point of debate this is the argument okay so remember that your claim has to be a matter of discussion okay debate means 
it's a matter of discussion. Yes and no. With or against. I agree or disagree. Okay? Meaning it needs to have at least two sides. At least. Okay? So, as I told you, we start by the topic. Number one, the topic. Then, claim. Then don't forget that your claim is going to be a matter of discussion. That we call it debate or argument. So argument means what? It's a matter of discussion that accept one opinion and the other. Okay? One with and the other against. It's okay? Okay. Then we are going to write what? The thesis, statements or claims avoid. When we are going to write our thesis or our idea, okay? Or the, our claim we should avoid some steps we shouldn't write in the first person okay we shouldn't write I I like uh, I agree I want I support I need I see don't write like that avoid this this way of writing don't write in my opinion try to display Try to display your point of view from a logical point of view. Make it logic. Make it logical. Okay? Let the other respect your point of view. Okay? Don't depend on only your point of view. Let it be a matter of discussion and let it be open discussion. Okay? As if you are respecting your own point of view, you should listen to the others. Even you will accept or not. But the matter of respect to the other's opinion is very important just because we said that it's debate. It's a matter of discussion. That means at least I'm going to accept two opinions. Me and the other. Okay? The other opinion that opposing me. Okay? So, we should avoid the first person I believe or in my opinion and any way of writing that that, that can be like that unclear language like it seems it seems it doesn't give me opinion that means you still have a doubt about your own idea or about your own claim once you aren't sure about your claim don't ask me that about my opinion you should believe in your own claim you should trust your opinion you should be clever of what you, you want to tell me or tell others if you aren't sure about what you are saying don't let be a debate or discussion keep it for yourself it's okay so unclear language like it seems okay attempt between two topics or you display two topics two topics or discuss two topics at the same time it will be so confusing so which topic i'm gonna to support support you or be against you write one topic and accept the one opinion and the other the with and the against you can you 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 can get me so there are some steps that i should always avoid never express your own opinion and say i believe i think i wish no or in my opinion let it be open discussion okay number two avoid the unclear language number three don't let your topic to to be two topics at the same time so how can i i understand your point of view okay so try to be specific be specific and let it open discussion that accept more than one opinion it's okay so now now this is one explicit example and one one of the best examples Let's take it, let's discuss it and see and try to have a look. How can we set the claim and how can we get the opposing point of view? The for and the against. The with and with and with me and against me. Okay, so I told you at the at the first moment that okay that school should start early in the day this is the topic school starts in early in the day this is the topic 
and we changed that to be claim and the claim has become school to start later in the day okay so some people of course once it's opinion once it's a debate or, or an argument that means i must get at least two opinions one for one against okay <clears throat> those who are for can say that starting later will will allow more sleep for students that means they are going to have the chance to rest okay to have enough time sleep and at that time when they are they go to school they will be okay uh, they will be relaxed okay and their ability to understand the lessons will be much better some people can say like that okay so let the school day be late we shouldn't start early in the morning we can start at 10 o'clock 11 o'clock or something like that and some people agree about that because they hate really to get up in the early morning and it can be for them their own opinion why i'll get up in the early morning be tired and they have less sleep time and go to attend the school for seven or eight hours so it's so tiring other people say Although it can be, but it will be so difficult because we are going to lose many hours from the day. And once we start late, everything in that day will be late. We will go to school late, finish late, return home late, do the homework late, sleep late. So we will be late for everything. We will be late in whatever we are doing. Okay. So as if you say, okay, I want to sleep. I want to have enough time sleep I want to get up late others will say no I hate that because whatever I'm doing will be late so now how many opinions there are two and always base your uh, build your opinion on fact don't give only mere opinions don't express only your own point of view just because it's like that or just because I like that or just because I wanted that no always tell your own opinion on facts because when you give facts and you when you give evidence and reasons you let the others accept your own opinion and it can be done okay it can become true okay so now we have the claim okay school start late in the early time this is the topic the claim the claim will be school should start later in the day this is the claim the first opinion that yes please starting later will allow more sleep for students rested students are good students so they have the ability to understand whatever they are gonna to uh, to take in the school and they will enjoy the school day other will say no this is the against starting later will take away time from after school activities once I go late I will return late I will do my homework late so no time for doing any other thing okay halas it is it's the sleep time so it has become only school day I, I did nothing okay so now you write thesis statement or an idea okay so the step number one state the topic define your own topic okay under consideration if we're gonna write about dogs okay and you know many people like dogs just because they are pet animals and they are uh, at many homes okay other they say can say no i don't like to have a dog at my home even it's a domestic animal but I don't love them so it, the two point of view can be respected this is the, those who love to have dogs as pets are there as pets are there and the others who dislike dogs are there you can't enforce anybody to take your own point of view each has his own point of view and the two sides must be respected because each one has his own reasons okay so now you write a thesis statement number 
the second step is the issue state the specific issue in the form of debating okay for something the issue usually answers the question what what about dogs okay so dogs should be subject to leash leash laws okay or dogs they make great bets okay step number three okay i i should say that dogs make great pets because you give me your own opinion okay now it's your own claim why why you are gonna to, to tell me for me dogs are great pets because because so and so and so so this is your reasons and you are gonna to give me the evidence for that okay so your topic and issue and issue this is your position now using a because because and the clothes okay dogs should be subject to leash laws because they are natural wonders okay so now we have great topic okay that we are going to speak about and it's well explained so if you follow me okay if you follow the way we are writing this topic you will learn how to write an argument or persuasive or opinion essay okay so our topic is that all students in the united states should learn a foreign language so now this is the claim so what is the topic who can tell me now from that from that claim what is the topic i told you we start we start our essay with the topic then the next step my topic will be claim then i'm gonna to give reasons and for each reason i'm gonna to give evidence and i should build my reasons and my evidence upon facts so who can give me the topic for this claim i'll give you two minutes try to think
Yes, please tell me. Yes. Yes, great. It's learning foreign languages. So this is our topic. Learning foreign languages. Great. So now the topic will be learning foreign languages. So now I'll change the topic. Okay. And to claim all students in the United States should learn a foreign language. This is my claim. This is the case or the declaration or the assertion I'm going to speak about okay so now my claim should should have two opinions some people can be with some people can be against yes we should learn another language okay others said no not important once I manage my own language and my language is the first in the world so why I, why I need to learn another one mine is okay it's not for me I can deal with many people in the world once I, I have my mother tongue as English okay but other will say no let's check okay and read about the opinions okay see now the topic learning a foreign language the claim all students in the united states should learn a foreign language okay so now how many reasons do we have one two three reasons okay each reason okay has an evidence okay it's supported by an evidence because okay let's check or let's read the first reason Okay, the first reason is that students in other countries learn foreign languages. So this is what? With or against? With. Great. Why? Any study? Okay. Any study for 20 countries? 17 countries required all students to learn at least one foreign language. So why not us? There is one study on 20 countries in the world, 17 of them ask their students that they should study another language, at least. So why not America? Why aren't we are like them? We should learn another language. So this opinion, okay, or okay, has with learning a foreign language. What about the, the second reason? Studying language helps students excel in other subjects because it adds to your knowledge it lets you know more than about the other languages or the, the other people in many different places in the world okay so the other reason the second one studying language helps students excel in other subjects why one study found that students who who took foreign languages had higher grade point averages than those who didn't so the second reason supporting the the supporting uh, opinion yes i am with learning a foreign language okay what about third okay knowing other languages is important in the business world so the third opinion uh, reason is also supporting yes it's with studying other, another language why okay companies are often international employees must be able to communicate with customers all over the world and with each other okay so all of the three reasons okay supporting the yes or the four opinion what about what about the no or against? Okay, some people say no, no need for us. Okay, it is not important for us to study another language, especially just because we are in the United States of America. Our language, the, the language number one in the world, and most of the people in the world now study English to have the ability to deal with us. So. It's those people who should study English to deal with us. Okay, notice 
okay, who should study English to deal with them. They can say like that. Okay. It can be an opinion. Another one will say that studying another language is a waste of time. Why I I'll bother myself by studying a lot of vocab, trying to know their accent? Uh, okay, uh, no need for that. Once I don't need, no need. Okay. Okay. So some opinion can be against, and they can give you also the reasons, their evidence for that. So a topic like that. Okay, it's really opinion. I say. And it accepted the two opinions or more than one opinion it's really debate an argument okay so I want you to return back okay I have given you many examples just uh, please go through them uh, try to know okay try to okay uh, define the topic the claim the with opinion the against opinion and the conclusion okay this is one topic Okay, so now I have given you a topic to practice and the how to practice and the purpose, the audience, when if you are a writer, okay, the purpose of the writer, the purpose why the writer is writing his own topic, okay, to whom the writer, to whom he's writing that topic, okay, what fact that can or the example that can support his own point of view the organization of his topic how can he organize his topic to be acceptable to be understood to let the people read it okay without boredom and this another topic okay please read it go through it to know how can you practice writing opinion writing and this third okay fourth Okay, many topics are there. Okay, and then there's another topic also. For if you have such a dog, you can walk with such a dog in the street. It's okay. It's acceptable. Are people uh, people will be afraid or not? So it can be an opinion writing also because some people say it's okay. I can accept any dog, whatever it's 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 the shape or. Whatever it is, other people say no. I am badly afraid of dogs. Okay, some people will be with you, others will be against you, of course. So, just to follow the steps. Okay, organize your essay and uh, try to write uh, good conclusion. Okay, and these are the directions. And. This is the revision checklist. Okay, a uh, grade uh, five. Uh, I hope that you could understand our lesson. Okay, please return back to the slides. Uh, try to read them carefully and uh, try to write for me uh, a topic. Okay, tomorrow I'm gonna to give you a certain topic. Just read today and tomorrow there will be practice topic. Okay, I'm gonna to give you uh, to give it for you as practice. Okay, when you are ready for that, so tomorrow, inshallah, there will be a topic for you to write about it, okay, as a kind of practice only. So, uh, thank you so much for your time, and uh, don't forget to give me your feedback according to, uh, to uh, Mirzano chart. Send me your feedback, and if you want to ask about anything, please send to me, okay? Thank you so much, have a nice day.